guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new, my name is Danny. So first of all, if you hear a bunch of screaming, it's my kids outside, I promise my husband is out there, but you know how men get when they start to play with their kids. So if there's background noise, don't worry, the kids are okay. But anyways, today's video is an exciting one because it is my very first Costco haul that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. I ended up getting a membership because there was so many things that I wanted to buy, but I was with my aunt, so I felt the kind of pressure to move quickly. So I'm definitely gonna be going back because there's a lot of things that I wanna get from there, um, but so many new items. And I am filming this intro after we have already tried a lot of the things. So almost everything that I got there is so good. It is so worth it. I'm so glad that I got a membership, but at the same time, I'm not ready to give up Sam's Club yet. So if you are a Sam's Club fan, then don't worry. I'm still gonna be sharing those too. Also, don't forget to keep watching until the end because I am gonna be sharing a healthy meal prep with you guys. So I have a breakfast idea. I'm gonna be preparing a really easy lunch for my husband and I as well as preparing some ingredients to make dinner time go a little bit more smoothly this week. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so this is everything as a whole. There, Like I said, there were um, some things that I wanted to get, but I completely, there was just, I was just overwhelmed with all of the new items that I saw. So um, I'll definitely be going back, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. So um, we have like half a gallon of milk, so I decided to pick up some more milk. So I just got 2% and I got a box of cereal or this has like two bags in it or whatever. Um, and the kids lately have been liking Fruit Loops, so I got that for them. And they had a few different um, like ravioli type pastas that they all looked so good. And I was going to try like the lobster, they have like a lobster filled um, ravioli, but I decided this time just to get um, the chicken and mozzarella just because I feel like this is something that the kids would possibly like a little bit more. So this time I'm getting, or I got this. So hopefully that is good. And um, these I've heard that are like the Costco's like version of the Chick-fil-A nuggets. So Sam's Club, you guys know that I love their nuggets that are kind of like, almost like a Chick-fil-A style nugget. So I'm guessing that these, I hope I got the right ones, but I'm guessing that these by this brand, Just Bear, um, are the ones that everybody says that are similar to Chick-fil-A. So um, this is what a four pound bag of chicken. So we can't wait to try these out and hopefully um, I'll get to compare whether these or the ones from Sam's Club really um, taste more uh, similar to Chick-fil-A. The kids specifically requested that I pick up some non bread. Um, they really love these for like DIY Lunchables. And then I also have like some sweet butter that they like to put on top of it, like a brown sugar type butter that we get from Sam's Club. So I picked up some of these and I was looking at like the smaller ones, like the little non um, bites, but I ended up deciding on this because if they want like, like I said, um, to make DIY Lunchables, this will probably be a little bit easier. Um, and this is an 18 pack. Then I picked up this variety pack of like this um, sliced cheese. It's like little cracker cheese. Um, but I thought this would be perfect for not only the kids, but for myself. A lot of times I find myself not really knowing what to eat for lunch or just like a snack, a really quick snack. So um, I thought that this would be really good and they have all kinds of different cheeses here, like you can see there. But I thought that that would be really good um, with crackers. Just like I said, for a really quick and easy lunch. I also picked up, um, what is this, 24 eggs, the cage-free eggs. Um, this is this is just the Kirkland brand, so I got that. And then I got some jarred stuff. So um, I was pleasantly surprised to see that um, Sam's Club, I'm pretty sure that they don't carry this. I'm still pretty new to Sam's Club too, but I don't remember seeing this there, correct me if I'm wrong but it's been a while since I've gotten these um, sun-dried tomatoes. And these are really good. Um, like if you put chicken in the crock pot and then you add um, these, and then towards the end you add um, heavy cream. And I can't remember what else, but it's really, really good. Um, and I love to use it for that. So I was really happy to see that they had that. And then I'm also gonna try making like this chicken that my mom makes and it's so, so good. It's like a lemon caper type chicken. And so I saw that they had this really big jar of the capers and it happens to be organic, which is a great thing about Costco is that they have a ton of organic stuff and I feel like it, the prices are pretty fair. So I ended up picking up this big thing of organic capers. And this sauce here, I've been wanting to try it for the longest time. I hear people um, raving about how good it is, this marinara sauce, and I'm not sure if that's pronounced like Rouse or Ray um, but I thought that this would be really good. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use it for like this. Um, if you guys have a suggestion as far as what kind of sauce I should use for this, um, let me know. But 
Maybe I might try that with um, some of this marinara sauce. We'll see. So I'm pretty excited to try this out and see how that tastes. And um, I'm not really a huge fan of like canned chicken, but it is a lot easier whenever, I really love like chicken salad. So um, like chicken salad sandwiches or with crackers. Um, but having to cook up that chicken all the time can be a lot. So I decided just to pick up this um, pack of canned chicken breast and I'm trying to uh, show you guys it has six cans in there. So um, I got that just again for another easy lunch. And back here in the back, we love to try like new yogurts and stuff. So I found this, um, they had a lot of different yogurts and some of them are similar to Sam's Club, like the Danimals and all of that. I'm not sure if Sam's carries this. I don't think that they do. But this is just the Too Good brand of, um, I believe this is Greek yogurt. Yes, Greek yogurt. And it's a 12 pack and it says two grams of sugar. So that sounded good to me. And so it has six vanilla and then six strawberry, which I really like because I feel like those are two flavors that are pretty safe when it comes to kids. So um, I'm pretty sure that the kids will like that. And then also, it would be like a nice snack for myself um, with just maybe some fruit on top. And I also decided back here in the back, sorry, it's hard to reach, but um, I got some applesauce. I think these are applesauce pouches. Yeah, they are. So again, these are organic, which is a plus, and there are 24 in here. So I went ahead and picked that up for the kids. And they had a lot of options for salads. So um, I really couldn't decide, but I didn't want to grab too many of them, but I saw this one and I was actually with my aunt in the store. So um, she's been a Costco member for like 20 years or over 20 years, but she was kind of like recommending um, what she personally likes. And she said that this one is really good, the avocado ranch chopped kit. Um, it just has creamy avocado ranch dressing and it looks like it just has corn, cheese, and um, lots of different things in there. So that looks really good and it sounds good. So I can't wait to try that. We also needed some bananas. So I just grabbed a hand of bananas and I picked up some of these little mini cucumbers. Um, these are some one of the few vegetables that my kids actually like to eat. Um, and then I also got some green beans and I thought that these would be really good as a side for dinner, just trying to eat a little bit more vegetables and then I saw these um, like mixed squash and zucchini and I thought that this would be another really good side for lunch or I mean dinner then I picked up two of these big packs of strawberries um, they looked pretty good so I went ahead I was gonna get one but I decided to just go ahead and grab two because my kids go through fruits so fast and I also picked up these um, little potato company um, like little mini potatoes I think they're called uh, creamer potatoes so Sam's Club has these too, but we love these. So I went ahead and I picked those up since Costco is where I went this week. And then I picked up a couple of options for pizza. So um, I'll start over here. I had heard about this pizza from Costco and it sounds really good. It's cauliflower crust pizza, uh, thin crust pizza, and it has roasted vegetables on it. And there are two of them in here. So I thought that that would be really good for me and my husband to try out and see if we like that. But of course I didn't want to leave the kids out and I know that they're not going to eat that i mean i'll offer it to them and i will be pleasantly surprised if they actually decide to eat that which um like i said i'll offer it to them but just in case i did pick up a four pack of the cheese pizzas so it's actually a couple of days later and i did go into walmart because i did need a few things that i did not find at costco so i'm gonna go ahead and quickly show you guys what i got from walmart and as far as some meats that I got, I got some ground beef and I also picked up some turkey bacon because I'm planning on making some like breakfast egg, um, egg and bacon like bites. And I also picked up some raw shrimp. These are just uh, medium raw shrimp and they're peeled, deveined, and they have the tail on. And um, I also picked up some Milo sweet tea. I was looking for lemonade, they didn't have any, so I just got that. And again, with like the whole um, eating health thing um, they were out of so many different like avocado oils olive oil I the only one that I could find this is literally the last bottle of like the great value brand olive oil so I ended up picking up this one and that's a pretty big bottle so that'll last us a long time and for a couple of dinner recipes that I'm gonna be making this week I needed some chicken broth so I got um, two containers I don't know these are 32 ounce containers of chicken broth and it's just a great value brand and I didn't even notice that it was unsalted um, but that's fine it's probably better and um, they were all out of like my favorite Caesar salad um, salad kits 
So um, this is another good one that we really like. It's another chopped salad kit and it's the Asian chopped salad. And again, these do not look the best. A couple of these probably won't even be good, but this was literally the only bag of onions, not any other kind of onions, not white onions, not yellow onions, not red onions. So I literally, I needed onions. So I just had to pick this up and I'm just going to hope that most of these are pretty good. It looks like some of them do not look the best but like i said i really needed those and i did not want to go into another store so i just went ahead and picked up these yellow sweet onions i grabbed four little limes and then i'm going to be making a lemon and caper chicken i think it's called chicken piccata or something like that so um, i needed some lemons for that and i got three of those i also needed some tomatoes i think i have like one more left and i did pick up a lot of produce from costco but um, i decided to get i wasn't sure at costco if i should get the blueberries so I ended up passing on them, but then I regretted it. So at Walmart, I ended up picking up this pack of blueberries. And then I also picked up some gala apples. Um, and then we also were out of bananas. I also picked up some Ritz crackers. And then I also picked up some of this Olive Garden dressing. And like I said, I got the Ritz crackers for the kids, um, but I wanted to kind of find a little bit of a healthier option for myself for like a, uh, not a sweet, a salty kind of snack. So I found these and I don't think I've tried these before. These are 100% whole grain wheat thins and I got them, um, they have like all kinds of different flavors and all of that, but I ended up getting the one that says hint of salt, so lower sodium. And I also picked up two of these boxes of the pasta roni, the angel hair pasta with herbs. Like I said, I'm gonna be making tacos. So um, this is my favorite brand for the corn tortillas. And if you guys watched, I think it was my last grocery haul, um, they were all out of heavy cream and once again, they were out of heavy cream So I'm gonna have to use half and half for a recipe this week. Hopefully um, The dinner recipe that I'm gonna be making turns out just fine with this and then I like to um, I'm not really like a big breakfast person. So lately I've been drinking um, a protein coffee like protein iced coffee and basically I just, these are kind of like Premier Protein, but obviously it's not that brand, it's the Equate brand, but these taste just as good and they are much cheaper than the Premier Protein. And I am gonna be meal prepping, which will be included in this video at the end. So um, I'm just trying to eat a little bit healthier, but I found this at Walmart and I cannot remember, um, I don't think, I think it was like in the wrong place. So I don't know how much this was, but there are 10 in here. Um, of these little meal prep containers and um, they're divided as you can see so it's got like a larger compartment and then a smaller one so I thought that this would be perfect for meal prep this week and I also needed some like new mixing bowls so I just picked up this one I don't again I don't know how much this was but usually this mainstays brand um, is not like super expensive or anything so um, I'm sure that these are pretty affordable, but there's six pieces in here, so there's different sizes. And I really wanted like a really nice cup for drinking my iced coffee. It's just part of the experience of drinking iced coffees. We are almost out of aluminum foil, so I went ahead and just grabbed some of this um, aluminum foil. And then the last two items are just a couple of things for our dogs. Um, we do have German Shepherds and they are really big chewers. So I have to get them really good quality bones. If you guys know of like a really good bone for them, I'm trying to find something that like, for example, I found this one and it says it's for large breeds, Purina brand. Um, and I specifically am looking for like rawhide free and kind of like a more natural bone. Um, I don't want anything that's like, has all of those like plastics and stuff. So back here it says rawhide and plastic free. So if you guys know of like a good bone for like heavy chewers, then definitely leave some recommendations down in the, not in the description, in the comment section. Um, leave me some ideas or some suggestions as far as that because they are very heavy chewers, but they go through bones very, very quickly. And then with that, they are also, um, they shed a lot. So. Um, I'm not sure if this one will work for them, but I just got this slicker brush. So that is everything as far as the Walmart portion of the haul. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start meal prepping. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. 
vegetables and I'm going to go ahead and roast um, these green beans. I try to dry them as best as I could. Um, these are supposedly supposed to be like already um, snipped and everything and most of them are but some of them still have um, for example like this one it still has a little piece on there. So I'm going to go ahead and get these put um, placed on this baking sheet this cookie sheet and then um, I'll show you guys what I'm going to put on them. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and hopefully I don't end up putting too much on here. Um, but like I said, I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil and um, I'll do that much for now and then see where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and add the seasonings too. So like I said, garlic powder and I'm running really low on it so I gotta get some more. And we do like a lot of garlic powder um, on our food. We like that flavor um, a lot. And then I'm gonna add, I'm also running out of um, adobo seasoning, so I need to stock back up on some seasonings, obviously. So that's all I'm gonna be adding to it. We like to keep our vegetables really simple. Um, so I'm just gonna toss those and um, hopefully that'll be enough oil. Um, you don't wanna, like when you're roasting vegetables, you don't wanna overcrowd them too much because um, you might end up steaming them rather than roasting them. So I completely forgot to wash the potatoes earlier, um, the ones that I had bought in from Costco, um, but I went ahead and I already washed them and I dried them off again as best as I can. I'm not gonna be preparing all of them because um, I don't think that we're gonna need that many. Um, I'm making these specifically for lunches, for mine and my husband's lunches. So what I'm gonna do is basically, like I said, they're already washed. I'm just gonna be cutting them in half and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the tray and pretty much put the same ingredients that I used for the green beans, but I'm also gonna add probably um, some parsley, some dried parsley on it too. So um, like I said, same, same way that I prepared the other ones, just some dried parsley too. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking It's like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all I believe in us, I won't give up on you So here is 
all the vegetables. I do still wanna put together some egg cups, like some breakfast cups. So I am gonna go ahead, I already started preheating my oven to 425 and I'm gonna put these in there now and I'm gonna let them cook for about 30 minutes and then toss them and then we'll kinda see if they need to be in there longer. Um, and while these are, after I put these in, then I'll go ahead and get started on those egg cups. So for the egg cups, um, I am going to be adding some turkey bacon. So I have my pan heating up right now and I'm going to go ahead and open this up and start cooking this and then we'll throw everything in a big bowl and start making those. So um, it is, like I said, a couple of days later. So we have used up a lot of the eggs, but we still have, um, there's a dozen there. So 14 eggs still in here. I'm thinking that I might go ahead and just put all of these, uh, maybe, maybe I'll do 12 just to be safe because the pan that I'm gonna use for the eggs has 12 total cups. So I'll just do um, one egg per cup. So I'll do 12 eggs and then I'm gonna use a little bit of this mozzarella cheese and there's actually only a little bit left in there. Um, so I'm probably going to just use the rest of this. And then we do like our bacon, our turkey bacon on the crispier side. So I cooked it a little longer, but I think there are um, three, six pieces there. So I'm just gonna cut those up into little pieces. You're the best thing that I've ever had. difficult I wish that my bowl had like one of those spouts to pour directly in here but it doesn't so um, I'm just gonna the way I'm gonna do this to try and make it as less pos um, less messy as possible is I'm gonna try and scoop even amounts into each of these I'm sure it's gonna be messy and it's not gonna be perfect but um, that's as good as it's gonna get for today so I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to evenly put these um, this egg mixture into each of these cups <laughs> got busy with the kids and I overdid the vegetables a little bit um, but I did taste them and they taste so so good so the potatoes are all done and these are really good um, and these they have such good flavor I like I said they went over by like 10 minutes I ended up having everything in there I think this was like 30 minutes it could have gone a little bit less um, and then these were in there probably like uh, 35 40 minutes so a little bit longer than these but anyways, I went ahead and lowered the temperature a little bit and I lowered it to 375. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the egg cups in the oven. All right, so as far as the um, zucchini and the squash, I'm not gonna like pre-make that or anything, but I do wanna go ahead and cut it up. I'm gonna do some of them kind of sliced and then some um, like little chunks. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those and then um, I have two of these little um, containers. I'm gonna try filling one, I'm just gonna mix them up. Or maybe I'll do slices in here and then cubes in here. So um, we'll see what I end up doing. Behind the clouds, we just have to believe it. So 
I'm about to saute some shrimp that I'm gonna be using, um, spreading out for some lunches this week for some healthy lunches. So I have this heating up and I'm just gonna put a little spray of this extra virgin olive oil and the shrimp, um, I have them in the sink, they're defrosted already. And I'm just gonna put some Cajun seasoning on them, some garlic powder, and then some adobo seasoning. If you don't have this, then obviously you can use salt and pepper, um, but those are the three things that I'm gonna be using, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. finally done and I want to apologize for the lighting because I am recording this in the evening and now it's already dark outside so it's pretty dark out here now but anyways I have the egg cups like I showed you guys and I tried one and they're really really good um, like I said I could have baked them for a little bit um, less time but they are still regardless they taste really really good and I think they would be even better with like spinach um, just to bulk them up but this will be a really easy breakfast and then I did have some leftover potatoes and green beans. Like I said, the green beans um, did overcook. Once again, that is something that I have to work on, so hopefully I'll get better with that. I was gonna make some oatmeal for breakfast as well, but honestly, I am so tired and ready to go to bed now, so that's just gonna do for now, and I'll have to do that probably tomorrow or something, um, and I'll share in another video. Um, and then for lunches, this is just gonna be a really easy and clean lunch. So we have the Cajun shrimp that I showed you guys, um, sauteed that, the potatoes, the roasted potatoes, and the green beans. So I got four trays out of there, and like I said, I have a little bit of extra, and my husband and the kids have been kind of um, snacking. And speaking of snacking, I thought this was super funny, so I went ahead and included it. So you guys saw me um, wash the blueberries, and when I tell you my kids love fruit, my son, just my son, Gabriel, finished the blueberries in the time that I was making everything else, I turned around and I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> and he, he was just laughing. Anyway, so blueberries are gone already. I just need to like buy multiple containers and have a bunch of those on hand. So no more blueberries as well as um, he was getting into the strawberries too. So, but he still left some there. And then we have the apples all clean and washed so they can just grab it and eat it. Um, I have tomatoes um, just so that I can easily just grab it as, as I'm about to like prepare dinners or something. And then, like I said, um, I wasn't gonna go ahead and cook this. I'm just gonna, it's gonna be really easy whenever I make dinners just to grab some of this and saute it really quickly. So I have some that are kind of like in little chunks and little pieces there. And then I have some sliced up um, zucchini and squash. So that'll make dinner time go a lot quicker. So that is everything for today's video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys in the next one.